Begin by priming your lid. I am using a nude colored base to even out my lid space. Next, using a brown base, apply this to your eyelid, avoiding the inner corner of the eye. For the inner corner of the eye, I am using a white base to bring a lot of brightness and whiteness. Next, using a fluffy blending brush or your finger, blend out this inner corner of the eye really well. Using a bronzy eyeshadow and a flat shader brush, apply this bronzy eyeshadow all over your eyelid, again avoiding that inner corner area. With a stiff dome brush and a matte brown eyeshadow, I'm going to start shaping out the crease shape of the eye. I'm using the brush from the far end of the brush to apply the least amount of pressure so I can build the color intensity slowly. This shape is sort of like a lifted cat shape that she had in the photos that I saw. Bring in the brown shade all the way in to the inner corner. Next, using a cream shadow, softly blend out the harsh edge between the brown eyeshadow and the brow bone. Next, using a tapered blending brush, and a matte black eyeshadow. Begin darkening the outer corner of the eye following that lifted cat eye shape that we created on the crease. Build the intensity slowly and you can always go back at the end and add more or blend it out further. Next, I am taking some bronze micro glitter. This step is optional. And with a flat shader brush and some water, I'm going to dip the brush into the water and with that wet brush, apply that brown micro, micro glitter. Next, I'm gonna take an off-white matte eyeshadow and apply it on the brow bone. And using a frosty white eyeshadow, I'm going to add this to the inner corner of the eye. You want to pack it on really well and blend it in. This is going to be a lot brighter than your usual inner corner highlight. I'm also going to use a tiny bit of that frosty white eyeshadow in the very top part of my brow arch just to bring a little more brightness. Tight line and do your waterline with a black eyeliner. I'm using Milani's Liquify. It's paying a special close attention to the inner corners, marking those really well. Next, with a small detail brush and some more of that black eyeliner, softly line your top lash line. Next, make sure that that inner corner of your eye is really well defined with a black eyeliner and blend out the bottom with that same brush. Using a bit more of that bronzy eyeshadow, put it underneath your eye as I'm doing here and with that same little detail brush and some more black eyeshadow, blend down the lower lash line. These are the Hollywood Smoke and Mirror Lashes. They're very dramatic. I wanted to show you the lash band, how thin and flexible it is for such dramatic lashes. Using glue adhesive on the back of my hand, I'm going to apply some. And using tweezers, I'm going to drag my lashes all throughout that lash glue. I'm going to center them first in the center part of my eye. And once they're there, I'm going to use my fingers to place them where they need to be really close to my lash line and then pinch my real lashes and false lashes together. Then make sure the front and back of the eyelashes are stuck together really well. Next, using a flat shader brush and some more of that bronze 
glitter. Apply this to your lower lash line. Using a large fluffy brush, brush away any fallout that you may have. And using a brightening concealer with a flat shader brush, apply this on your lower eye in a triangular shape and make sure to blend it out really well for that Kim Kardashian look. Using a matte bronzing powder and a contour brush, go ahead and contour. In the picture she didn't have very much contour, but I have a round face, so I like to go all out. <laughs> Using a peachy, natural looking blush, Apply this on the outer portion of your cheeks, that's usually where she applies her blush mostly. And finish off with your favorite new beige combo. Here's a closer look at the lashes. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy. Rate, comment and subscribe. Bye!